Hey guys, so I have another haul for you here. I know I said I wasn't going to be making any other pre-Christmas hauls or purchases at Bath & Body Works, but I had this amazing coupon in my email which gave me 40% off my entire purchase, which is better than the $10 off of $30 purchase, so I figured I'd go ahead and brave them all. Today is the 23rd that I'm recording this. So I would just, you know, brave them all, like I said, and just purchase the last candles that I wanted to in store. And I was really hoping they were going to have some um, new candles, but they didn't. The only one that I repurchased was the Evergreen. All the other ones I have not purchased at all. And they didn't have any of my favorites, like the Holly Wreath or anything, but maybe that's good. They didn't have leaves either. So I'm kind of disappointed on that. Um, so let me show you the receipt. I have five candles up here, but I only purchased four. One of them I forgot to talk about in the last video, so I figured I'd just throw it in here. But as you can see, I bought four candles, and they were two for 20. And then I decided to buy wallflowers. Um, I haven't bought wallflowers in probably like six years or something, and I don't know why, to be honest with you. I just have gravitated more towards the candles. So I ended up buying seven of those, and... I ended up getting two of the, um, what do you call it, like the stands for it that plug into the wall. And then I ended up getting six uh, little single scent portable things because they were having a special where these were $3 each. So I got a bunch of those. And on top of that, I got the 40% off. So anyway, my total was $61.50 and then 40% off is a $24.60 with tax. And I ended up paying... 39.11 and that is insane like that's crazy so I paid 39.11 for um, four candles and um, what did I say eight wallflower items including two of these uh, chargers I have the other one plugged in and it's actually a night light so I'll, sh I'll um, show you guys what that looks like but this is just a regular one it doesn't light up or anything so that's what I purchased. Um, once again, when I purchased these items, I got uh, two of these $10 off 30. I don't know why she gave me two. I only made one transaction. And then she also gave me this, which gives me free shipping on a $25 purchase. And they're having their 75% uh, off sale online and in store. So that's pretty cool because they have candles that I want online that they don't have in store. So now that I'm done with all of this, let me go through with you and talk to you about the items that I have. Okay, so the first item I have is a repeat, repeat, repeat. I love this candle so much. It smells like a Christmas tree to me and I don't have a live Christmas tree. So this is the closest thing I'm going to get to it. And here it is red again. It says, Fresh fir and cool pine blend with a touch of smoky white birch and spicy clove. I've reviewed this twice already. Um, I'll put the link down in the below bar of the videos that I've reviewed this in. But this just smells so good. So that's evergreen. And then I have this one. It's called Apple Crumble. And I think this one came out for fall. And I thought they weren't going to have this, but they did. And I love apple scents, so I decided to get it. And it's described as baked Granny Smith and Macintosh apples topped with vanilla, crumble, cinnamon, and nutmeg. And this doesn't smell like cinnamon really at all because, like I've said many times before, I don't like cinnamon. So let me go ahead and smell this one for you. And this just smells so good. Um, I can smell the apple, but I smell um, more of like the apple crumble, like the topping. I definitely smelled the dessert in this a lot, and I really like this. But I most mainly I smell the Granny Smith and the um, crumble vanilla crumble. You know, just like the picture, I smell like the dessert portion of it. So this is really good, and I don't know why I haven't purchased this one yet. Um, I really don't know. So that's those two. And then I have Winter, and I didn't really want to purchase this when I first smelled it um, a couple weeks ago because for some reason I was smelling mint, and I don't like mint, um, so I never bought it. But today when I went, I actually read the description, and there's no mint in this. So I don't know why I'm getting a minty smell, but let me read it. And it says, a festive holiday blend of shimmering pine, orange clove, crisp bay leaf, and warm winter woods. So yeah, I have no idea why I'm smelling mint in this, or I did at first. So let me go ahead and smell this one. 
And I can definitely smell the pine and woods. I don't know why I was getting mint. Now I'm not really getting mint. It, this smells really good. I just, honestly, I smell the, the bay leaf and the woodsy and a little bit of pine. But this is actually a lot better than I thought it was at first. So this is winter. And then the next one I have is winter night. So let me read this one out for you. It says, inspired by the bright moonlight and a distant fire on a crisp winter night, fir tree, warm cypress, and clove bud blend perfectly with cedar and a touch of incense. So I'm not a big fan of like the fireside smoky scents. Um, so this one doesn't smell like that, but let me smell it again. And this just smells really good. Um, this does kind of smell like winter, the one I just read to you. But it smells a little different, and I'm not sure why. I think it has to do with the type of tree that's also in this. Maybe it's just the incense, you know. It smells a little, um, maybe a little bit more perfumey. I don't really know how to describe it. It's just a little bit more perfumey, I guess, than the winter. Um, so I like this one, too. So I decided to get this one. And then the last one I got, I was debating whether to get it just because I think it's going to come back after the sales um, because it's not a holiday scent. So I'm kind of surprised they would put something out like this. But this is called Black Pepper Bergamot. Bergamot. And it is described as an enchanting combination of citrus, spice, and erotic bergamot with fresh black pepper and patchouli. So I don't know what patchouli smells like. Um... Yeah, so let me go ahead and smell this one. And this does smell like black pepper. Um, I don't really smell the citrus. I just feel like this smells like a woodsy smell with pepper. That would be my best guess is like a woodsy peppery smell. I don't really know why there's flowers on there. That's kind of weird to me. Uh, yeah, but I do like this. So... I think it's kind of like a manly scent, but I guess we'll see how it smells like when it's burned. All right, so now for the wallflowers. And like I said, I haven't bought these in about six years, and I really don't know why, but they are glass, and you do put them in this little um, port type thing. As you can see, like, this plugs into the wall, and then you um, screw it in, and then it just, you know, electricity makes the scent come out through the top. So that's pretty much how this works if you didn't know. But um, the first two ones I got are Pumpkin Patch, and I really like these. Um, my can I have a candle, or I had a candle that was Pumpkin Patch, and I was really surprised to see these still in the store, but I'm really glad I got them because the Pumpkin Patch candle has not been in stores for probably over a month. I have not seen it in either stores I've been to. So those are those two. And then I decided to get a holly wreath because this is my favorite candle that came out during, um, you know, this time of year. And I really like it, but it's not super strong. So I figured I'd want to try this to see if it was any stronger. So that's holly wreath. And then I decided to get these two. And these are the eucalyptus spearmint. And these are my favorite aromatherapy scents. And um, I've reviewed this in the past in the candle form. So if you want to link to actually I've reviewed all of the wallflowers in a past um, video so they'll be linked down below but I love this so much these stress relief ones are so nice I like to light these at night right before I go to sleep they have ones that are like sleepy time but these I just prefer so much so these are the eucalyptus spearmint and now I'm gonna go and show you the other one that I have in my bathroom it's actually at the evergreen and it comes with, uh, I got one of these, but it has a night light, so that's really cool. So let me go and show you what that one looks like. All right, so now we're in my bathroom, and as you can see, I have this scent port plugged into the wall, and it has the evergreen inside, um, the little screw top right here. And I just put this on maybe like 30 minutes ago, so it's not super hot, and I don't really smell much yet. But this is the one with the night light, like I said, so let me turn it off and show you what it looks like. There you go, it's an automatic, so it has a sensor that knows when it's dark. So that's pretty cool, so that's that one. 
so that's the end of this haul and like I said this is the last order I will be making or going into store and buying because I do not need any more candles I might might make an order online for the 75% off sale that they're also having in store just because I really want to get some of these um, in the leaves I really want leaves and they haven't had it in store for so long so that's the only reason I would um, make an online purchase but if you guys have made a Bath & Body Works haul, please um, let me know about it down below. I'd love to watch it. I love watching Bath & Body Works hauls. And if you guys have any comments or questions, suggestions on videos, please also leave that down below and I will be writing back to all of you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.